Hello everyone, today we will be discussing regarding the cluster type classification of diabetes. And this is a classification that was based on a study done in Sweden on 8,980 patients who were newly diagnosed with diabetes. They put them into different clusters on the basis of certain factors or more like more variables. And this is a snap of the study itself, which was done in Sweden. And these are the variables, and uh, the variables are uh, the presence of antibodies uh, in the body, uh, age at diagnosis, BMI, HbA1c, beta cell destruction rate, or and insulin resistance. And the clusters are given here. This is the first cluster, which is severe autoimmune diabetes. And the second is severe insulin deficient diabetes the third is severe insulin resistant diabetes the fourth is mild obesity related diabetes and the fifth is mild age related diabetes so the first cluster uh, was about 6.4 percent of the static population um, they were kind of younger children younger population mostly children and adolescents type 1 diabetes were put in this cluster also, the LADA patients, the latent autoimmune diabetes of adults were put into this third category. They had comparatively lower BMI. They had poor glycemic control without treatment. They had their absolute insulin deficiency. The GAD antibodies were positive. In cluster 2, we have severe insulin deficient diabetes. Um, in this, 17.5% uh, of the patients were put into this category. They had no GAD antibodies. Yet they had very high, uh, high HbA1c and they had highest incidence of diabetic retinopathy. Because of the insulin deficiency, they had hyperglycemia which further led to retinopathy. And in cluster 3, um, they had severe insulin resistance. And this is the call this is so-called the severe insulin resistant diabetes and 15.3 percent of the people were put into this category they were mainly older age group people with high insulin in the body yet they cannot use the insulin because of the insulin resistance they had high incidence of diabetic nephropathy uh, which corresponded to increased uh, salt sensitivity and they had increased bmi associated with non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases coming to cluster 4 mild obesity related diabetes the, this is the one of the two milder type of diabetes and 21.6 percent of the diagnosed were put into this category they were comparatively younger population and less associated with nafld less likely to develop any complication they had no insulin resistance at all so they were very responsive responsive to insulin therapy and in cluster 5 we have mild age related diabetes majority of the cases were of this category 31 39.1 percent of all diagnosed patients were in this category seen mainly in older age group people and they had only slight metabolic abnormalities. So why do we need this cluster classification? The classification obviously talks about the different type of diabetes in different categories, making it broader so that we can give tailored treatment for certain people. For example, who has a lack of insulin, give them insulin. Some are responsive to insulin, some are resistant to insulin. So thereby we can give a tailored treatment. Early on diagnosis is very important and early on diagnosis of complications and risks for complications is very important to prevent them. You can do a lot of screening for retinopathy and also you can give them better gut glycemic control early on so that they have a better metabolic memory. What are the disadvantages? This is just a homogeneous population study done in Sweden. And as we know, diabetes is a heterogeneous disease throughout the world. A lot of different variables available for diabetes. And uh, for example, we had uh, a study done in Pune here in India, which showed that people of the Indian population had more visceral fat and more body fat percentage compared to those of the 
Caucasian people who were of the similar BMI. Even though their BMI was comparable, they had more fat percentage and more susceptible to diabetes. So as here, as this study shows, we need to think in a broader aspect. So that would be it for me today. Thank you for listening. I hope you all subscribe and like my video. And if you have any comments or any suggestions, please put them in the comment box below and I would surely reply to it. Or if you want any other videos that I can make, please let me know. Thank you.